Hello and welcome to this Power BI Showcase with me, James, from Matador Software. Today we're going to look at how we can take a simple offshore drilling dashboard. It's mock data that I've created, it's uh, arbitrary numbers. And we're going to look at how we can take quite simple visuals in itself, a bit of DAX, bookmarks, and really power it up and, and make it look really attractive so that our report consumers can easily understand it. If we look at the data, very simple and it's similar across all of the tables. What we're really just going to focus on today is oil and gas production by the date. Um, and, and if you've looked at my videos before, um, one thing that often frustrates me, I guess, is that we have regular tutorials and visualizations and the fundamentals, but they're not necessarily shown in a very intuitive way with a real use case. And, you know, they're not always visually appealing, which is really important when we could have report consumers from different areas of a company. So we want to look at that. We're going to look at how we can make tables work for us and look really good with some conditional formatting and styling. So we have a DAX dynamic greeting here. All we really need to know is that we're using variables to show good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, depending on the time on our system. Using a text box to view our oil and gas production figures. This is quite nice. I've used info panels before to sort of have a, a shape overlay and call out um, shapes to instruct people around a report, as this is quite a simple one. This is quite a nice way to use bookmarks just to display you know, information and, and really guide our users and help them. But you can see the dashboard design remains uncluttered and we're still using those primary and secondary colors. And, and it's, uh, you know, when we have different colors like those indicators to show month to month progression, it's very clear. So we can direct people to the information we want them to see very easily. You'll also see that when we, we have this slicer here, this date slicer, I've automatically edited the interactions to take some away um, because we've actually we're showing the March and February because that's the mock data set I built we're showing the the figures there and the change um, and when we click this button it just resets again to the standard bookmark page um, that we we originally set up so that it appears like we're resetting our slicers at the touch of a button so if we had more slicers than one this would be particularly useful as I showed you, quite a simple use of bookmarks, but it just goes away in showing how powerful it can be. Simple info panel open, reset, and again, our dashboard remains uncluttered, and we're able to show a bit of extra information without altering the look at all. So now all we have to do is link up the bookmarks to these buttons, and it's very simple to do um, with the action. It's worth noting that these buttons are just images I imported from flaticons.net. I mentioned them a lot in my tutorials, but they're very good. So are these, uh, these boat or drilling vessel images. They're from flaticons.net. But you can see how importing custom images really powers up the report. So we have standard features like produced oil and gas, what we'd really want to see, uh, and we can slice that by date. You can see that I've edited the visuals, as I said, so that it doesn't affect our March versus February figures. We want them to remain the same, obviously, and, and untouched. And we also have these bar charts right in the bottom right corner. It adds another element, but it's also telling a visual story of the progression in oil production from January, February and March. And when we click on that help panel, that will also tell us that same piece of information. So I've written some basic DAX just to show, you know, the main figure, the 88.65K, for example, that's oil predict production by the month of March. And these other two items are just, we're using some simple DAX syntax to show the percentage change between March and February the numeric change between March and February in oil production. Now, we could use this in other ways within DAX if we had an up-to-date data set with, uh, you know, like previous month functions, but for what we've got, this is adequate. And, and the real um, purpose of this tutorial is to show the possibilities of a simple dashboard 
clean design and also tables are often overlooked but tables are fantastic and so is the conditional formatting features so i wanted to highlight that as you can see here so if we look into the formatting you can see the style of my table is sparse i find this the the best way out of the box to make tables not look like your standard power bi table that you see in tutorials or you know as a standard functionality and I've also changed the font and the column headers and the values and, you know, blended my background in with the background of my dashboard. And this goes a long way to sort of making the tables look better. I've made sort of three mini tables again to make the, the data pop and look more appealing. And the conditional formatting helps as well. So if you haven't used conditional formatting before, it's very simple. If we go into the values well, we can click on the area we want, such as daily oil, and activate conditional formatting. And, and I've used data bars, so it's, you know, it's almost like a one click, click function. And also icons. And if we had lots of rows of data, that would be very helpful in helping people make data-driven decisions in an instant. Like I said, these bar charts add another visual element, secondary color that we've got aligned with our data bars, but they also show a real progression in oil production by month. So that's been my tutorial showing simple concepts, but doing them well and good design really helps our dashboards pop. As usual, please feel free to like, comment, subscribe and share if you enjoy this content. Thank you.